people often want to know how they can use Teams calling in the best way for their business. In many cases, companies already have this feature included with their existing Microsoft 365 subscription, but simply haven't activated it yet. In this video, we will show you how you can get most out of Teams Calling. Once activated, Teams Calling enables users to call regular phone numbers, including landlines and mobile numbers. This is a big step up from the out-of-the-box Microsoft Teams, which only permits calls to users within the Teams platform. As a business tool, Microsoft Teams Calling has many built-in functionalities that help make communications and working more effective. We're going to look at how you can best use Microsoft Teams Calling, including using some additional features you may not be aware of. How to make a phone call from Microsoft Teams Calling in three steps. One, click on calls and select dial a number. Two, enter the phone number and make the call. Now, Teams will make the call just like a regular phone. There are many other ways you can place a voice call in Teams calling including from your call history, speed dial, voicemail, and contacts. We will show you how this works. Without activating Teams calling, Microsoft Teams gives you lots of ways to collaborate and communicate within the platform. For example, you can easily make video calls within Teams, hosting up to 20 people per call. To make a video call, this is what you do. 1. Go to an existing chat or start a new one. 2. Select the video call option by clicking the video camera icon. 3. If the chat contains multiple contacts, you'll be asked to confirm if you want to include all of them in the call. Then start the call. 4. Just end the call by clicking the hang up button. If you need to video call with more than 20 people, you need to use secure video conferencing. This means you can host 300 participants for up to 30 hours, or 100 people for 60 minutes if you are using the free version of the app. A video conference can be done instantly or be scheduled. 1. Create an instant meeting by going to chat or calendar. 2. In the chat tab, select New Meeting or Go From Calendar and select the Meet Now button at the top of the screen. 3. Just give your meeting a name. Then create a link for the meeting and share it with participants. Another easy way to stay aligned with customers is through Workspace Chat. This can be particularly handy when you are in different time zones. Starting a Workspace Chat is easy. Go to the Chat tab and select New Chat. In the To field, type in the name, email, or group name you want to chat with. After adding these details, you can type and format your message, and then select the Send button in the bottom right corner. By organizing your workspace chats into different channels, you can stay focused on distinct topics and manage Teams effectively. To turn Microsoft Teams calling into a professional contact center, complete with detailed insights and reports, agent supervisor, smart call routing, and integrations with CRM, only one thing is required a suitable integration from a trusted Microsoft partner. Meet Roger365.io, the contact center add-on that enables Teams calling to professionally queue and route incoming calls. You can use advanced call routing utilizing your own CRM data, which is fully integrated into the single dashboard. The customer data is then directly shown to the operator. Or use skill-based routing to ensure that queries are dealt with by the operator who is most knowledgeable about the query or most able to help. You will also be able to handle voice calls and everything else. It can switch smoothly between other contact methods like WhatsApp or web chats. Roger365.io brings together the convenience and security of Teams with the richness of your customer data and workflows. This integration empowers businesses to offer a higher level of service while streamlining their own processes, leaving your business with happy and informed customers.